Hello ladies and gentlemen, many of the people who are wondering why I am after Denivo, why I am just, you know, washed my hands to actually punch Denivo, why I am always criticizing Denivo. The examples are right in front of you. The first one is a very famous article which was published a few months ago, which claims and every gamer knows that why the hell there was like a electricity power cut. Yes, I'm not kidding over here. Because of Denivo server problem, all of the games having Denivo were actually unplayable for literally a week. So imagine paying for a particular game and not even getting access to play it for a particular week. When you have all of your friends in your home and when you like to just boast about, hey, I am having this game, I am having this RTX PC and now let me just show you how the game looks like and let's just play this game together. Even if it were a single player game, even single player games were impacted by this power cut in Denivo thing basically. So the Denivo server were down, even single player games were affected, they were completely unplayable for a particular week. So that was a serious issue and many of the gamers actually did not know what the fuck Denivo was and then they came to know hey that was due to uh, anti-piracy anti-cheat DRM. So actually the users who have purchased the game, authentic purchasers are suffering the most because of Denivo DRM not the pirates. The pirates are patient they will eventually wait for five or six months and then wait for either to Denivo be removed or they would either wait for the sales or thirdly they would just wait for the crack. That's the last option. And secondly Denivo's performance impact. It has been evident in several games. The Callisto Protocol, Resident Evil Village, Assassin's Assassin's Creed Origins and a whole lot of games had Denivo performance impacts. Even Digital Foundry, the very big tech channel, have made a video on performance impact of Denivo, specifically in Capcom games, specifically the village games heard a lot. Now what do you guys think? Still there are hundreds of hundreds of issues people have with Denivo. The privacy concerns with Denivo because Denivo wants you to connect to internet every time. It performs code execution every single time you launch the game. It has several limitations that you cannot actually register the game five different times in different PCs, five users time activation limit. and a lot of things are there with Denivo and this is the thing which disappoints me a lot. Now let me know gamers what do you guys think about the Denivo problem and I will let you know in my next video what happens with Denivo or not specifically with the latest titles which are coming.